chocolate croissants. I copped quite a few of those last night. That's gonna be breakfast. This shit is dumb fire, son. Sold out all the time, every vending machine ever. So I copped at Kina Kania, which is another fire spot I'm about to tell you about. This apple juice is lit. Is delicious. Kina Kania, Kino Kania is actually, I don't know how it started, but it was a bookstore. As far as I used to go there and buy books, they clearly do a lot more than just books these days because they had all the sweet treats and I already ate it. I'll do with the trash. Oh, well, these pastries the other day were trash. These trash. So gross. Tastes like somebody just roll a bread roll from a random Winn-Dixie grocery store. Yeah, not good. Gross. These. Look at that flake. That's, that's where it's at. I did not vlog yesterday because I edited all day long and really just went out last night and ate. And ate. And ate. I ate so much last night, guys. That's ridiculous. Ramen at Ramen Camaro. And then I went to Din Tai Fung and I had dumplings. And then I had dessert dumplings because they had cherry blossom dumplings and I couldn't say no. And on the way home, I had the Kina Kania and I got a pork sandwich. Oh, man. This morning I woke up, I felt like complete shit. Whew. Not good. Sometimes you go out, you eat a couple of gummies in the morning. Things get a little out of control in the munchie department. Today, it's not gonna be an amazing day as far as weather goes because we're back in the shits. I don't have to be out in the bullshit, you know. I'm supposed to do this like all day. A couple of like old towns I still wanna go see. And I'll probably just have to plan that now, plan it out today in my head where to go next. But yeah, we're kinda, we're kinda screwed. Honestly, shooting vlog footage when it's rainy is okay. Like flat light is great sometimes, but it's starting to put, you know, it's not, I don't, I, don't, I just don't wanna be out in the cold and the rain, honestly. It's not what I want to be doing. And I think it's only supposed to last today. In hindsight, I should have edited today. But, you know, try to get those vlogs up. You know what I'm saying? Try to make that shit in real time as possible. There you go. There you have it. I'm going to put on my hat. Put on some uh, rain jacket. And I'm going to get out of here. Is there anything else to update you on? I don't think so. I mean, I bought stuff, but I'll just see all that later. Here, I'll show you one thing I bought. Here, I bought this guy. Wow. This has got eight dragon tails. Oh, and this guy. <laughs> A pretty serious train ride over to Diver City. Um, one thing. Let's see what's up. I tried to. Wait. Ah, later. I love you, StockX. I just can't reach you right now. Boom, 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 boom. So, shout out to StockX because I fuck with them. But y'all know I didn't get. I was here last time. Uh, I was in Japan when these dropped, I think, but didn't really pay, I wasn't paying attention. I don't really know how I feel about this colorway so much. I actually met a Chinese girl the other night who walked with me for like six blocks talking to me about these shoes because she was wearing these and I saw them in person. They're not that bad though, 13. I mean, 415, 384 for the 13 and a half? Damn, I don't know. I don't really need the half size up, but that's like cheap for the shoe. I copped these already, pretty sure on StockX. Yeah, I think we should just grab I mean, 13 is 400 but It's a crazy difference with the half size. I mean, I definitely don't need the half size. But it's the lowest price size almost, other than a 14. kind of want to fuck with the half size just so I know. So everybody likes to talk shit and fucking go against my sizing advice. <laughs> Let's see if he takes this. Let's see. Uh, uh, buy? I don't ever really just hit the bid off right away. Let's see, 375. Wait, what was he asking? I already forgot. 364 is the highest bid. So 375. We'll see what he does. Choo, 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 choo. Boom. Shout out. All right, my bid is live. See how long it takes for him to accept my bid. Let's see if this reseller is holding tight on his price or if he's got a little wiggle in his wall. <laughs> um, boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Buying. Pretty sure these are already on the way. Yeah, hyperspace. Seller is waiting to ship, man. You need to hurry the fuck up. Yeah, I ended up playing 480 for those. So, not the cheapest. But 250, seller made like 200 bucks on that. Congratulations to you, seller. You got me on one. Which, yeah, I could maybe find them cheaper by if I looked and searched and answered a million DMs and blah, blah, blah. But I got shit to do. So I don't have time for all that. I don't have time to go back and forth. It's time is money. My time is worth money. I just bought the shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like I just, boom, can't get those. I'm not gonna wait. You know me, I want the shit. So I know you guys want shit too. 
So there's a contest going on right now. StockX fucks with me heavy. Fuck with StockX heavy. This time, I was in my negotiations. We decided we we're gonna do the finish your bid contest. Some of you guys already know about this because I've been doing it for a while, just not officially sanctioned like with StockX. Now it's official. We got a hashtag. We got a link in the description. What you have to do is you have to have Twitter or Instagram and you have to post your bid versus the price that's being asked. Well, first you gotta follow the link to put in the bid. If you don't follow the link, then it's not going to work. You're not gonna be entered into the contest officially. So you might have your photo up and the hashtag, finish my bid. You might have all that stuff right. But if you don't click the link, I don't even know about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I might pick you and then you can't win. It doesn't register through the app. So click the link, suckas. Post your bid versus what they're asking. Screenshot that, post that up. At StockX, at me. Oh, it's Teddy. Use the hashtag finish my bid. And then I'm gonna just pick people. I'm just gonna pick people randomly and I'm gonna finish your bid for you. I'm gonna PayPal you the difference. You're gonna check out your shoes. You're gonna have a happy day. And that's just the way this shit is gonna go. Shout out to StockX for that. Probably officially both pairs of the new Yeezys on the way. I really love the clays. I think it's one of the best ones we got. That third color, not my favorite, but the hyper space I'm interested in. I just, you know, I just, I just like my bid is just live. He hasn't accepted it yet. All right, let's go hit these rainy ass streets, dog. Finally went and picked up our pocket Wi-Fi yesterday. So, pocket Wi-Fi. You also, yes, yeah, someone brought up a good point. You can get these. Your Airbnb should come with one, but they're not always the best. They hit you with that bootleg Wi-Fi. And if you're trying to walk around these streets and you're trying to listen to some music and you're trying to vibe out every once in a while, you don't need a Wi-Fi, bro. Like, you need one. Cake in a bag. Old Japanese photos that I'm gonna do something super sick with. And we're gonna take this lens today. Today we're shooting on the G Master 16 to 35. Normally we shoot on the G Master. 24 to 70, but this lens is heavy. I don't want to carry it today. This lens is also heavy, but it's a little lighter. Compromising here. I don't want to carry the backpack either. <sighs> Every time I don't take the backpack, I end up having to fucking carry bags. I should take the backpack. I hate, I hate having the backpack, but I should take the backpack. Cold as a motherfucker. Yeah, all right, we're not gonna vlog out here. So it rains a lot in Japan, especially in the summertime, spring, summer, it rains a lot. Oh, you'll see a lot of umbrellas. Here, or what sucks, I guess a little bit here is that I'm tall. People here are generally a little bit shorter than me. So where they hold their umbrellas is basically eye level and all day long, I just get sniped, bro. basically want to eat everything in this store. Everything is by the huge box. Like, there's no individual candy. Honestly, I think I can get most of this stuff in the airport. Pizza, wafer, joint. Is that even the edible part? Yeah. Look at that shit. I just want one. I can get one of these, whatever this is, which just looks ridiculously crazy. Now he's a unicorn, so that shit had to have moved. I didn't see it, because now the lights are off. I don't really want to stand out in the rain and wait for it, but I kind of do.
pas fini, dis bravo. Ah putain, c'est pas, pas fini. fini. What time? 5.43. That went through. Ah. Okay. Whoa, this is hard to do. You strapped up? We're strapped up. Um, God damn it, I keep hitting buttons. For real, this time. Hello. Alright, uh, so this morning, today, so it's nicer out. It seems like it's windy. I keep hearing these crazy gusts of wind, but there's no rain in the forecast, so that's good. It seems, it seems like we'll be able to go to Ryo Goku, which is where I wanted to go originally. It's the sumo and boxing area. It's also where the fire bombings were during World War II, but, or one of the places. I've never been there. I wanted to go there. Truth be told, I came out here to put together a sort of collab, like, pitch. I don't know how to really, I have the opportunity to put a pitch to a company. I had this idea that kind of revolved around sumo, and that's kind of all I can really say about it. My idea originally was to come here and to film sumo shit, to kind of like put together this whole ordeal. That can happen because sumo season is over and sumo wrestlers, I thought I'd be able to get a practice in, which it doesn't look like it's gonna be possible. Toshi made some calls, boom, boom, boom. Sumo dudes are just, it's just not season. And then they're on tour, so they're not practicing right now. They're just like touring around. So they're doing whatever they're doing. It'd still be cool to go there. I still wanna go check it out, even if we can't, uh, you know, like sit in on a sumo practice or whatever. You know, it is what it is. Can't, can't taste it all. You know what I'm saying? So, and maybe we'll get lucky. Running into some cool shit. I don't know. Let's hit these streets, it's not raining. Bring in the jacket, because it doesn't seem chill either. Mm. Well, it does seem chill, that's why I'm bringing the jacket. <laughs> All right, let's go. So much better today, son. Yesterday was brutal out here. Just got a text from Seth Fowler, who is in town. He seems to be like, not in trouble, but maybe having a little bit of trouble with Tokyo. So we're gonna go link up with him real fast. We made it to this random garden. It's called like Gyoen Garden. I don't know, but it's right outside Shinjuku. I've never been here because I'm not really one to stroll through a garden thing, I guess. That's here. We're gonna meet him, put him onto the Japanese game real quick, point him in the right direction, and then get out of here. Because Shinjuku is crazy today. I don't know what. It's like the weather makes people crazy. You know, like the rain yesterday made people all kind of pushy and shovey and attitude-y a little bit. Now it's nicer and people are, but the trains are all delayed today, so everybody's running around like crazy. I've seen more people running today than ever. Not for sport, like Godzilla running. What's up? How's it going, man? Good How to see you, you doing? Us. Good to see you. Chilling, man. You, <laughs> you found Seth Fowler in Japan. What are you shooting with now? It's a Sony. No shit. You could get a Suka card too, since What's you're that? here. It's like, you can load it with money, so you don't have to carry on all this change. Money. You're only here for a few days though, right? Yeah. You leave Saturday? Saturday morning. It might not really be worth it, I don't know. Seth makes YouTube money, so he's gonna cop a whole fit here. <laughs> $45,000 fit. I need to go ahead and note that Kanye West has brought back the frozen yellow color worldwide. Really? I mean, it's on everything now, bro. I don't feel like we really got it before. Ah, dude, that shoe looks like it shit itself, man. It's but I'm saying, to... that color. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. that off tone like yellow like... color. You're yeah. crazy, though. The frozen yellow is the best Yeezy <laughs> no, ever like release. You're out of your mind. Jeez. You're tripping, dog. You <laughs> should get this for, you should get this for Tony. Oh, right? Yeah, exactly. Get the you nipples. Go with this, uh, construction stuff. Oh, yeah, well, he could have his nipples shown through on this <laughs> for the video. You get all the views. You get all the comments if your nipples were shown through on the video. Behind the scenes of a Seth Fowler vlog, the exclusive. I never vlog, man, it's gonna turn out terrible. Nah, it's fine. That's what I think every we got international Seth Fowler fame behind us here. So we're stopping for that real quick. 
Oh, you got the, uh, the pose? Yeah. The twist pose? Yeah, get the twist. I'm teaching people how to vlog. The name of my vlog is going to be how to vlog like Seth Fowler. Sadly, <laughs> I don't know what to get out of the Come in here, cop. And well, you really hit one store. I mean, you don't have to do it here. But this shit's dope, man. It's true. It's actually fucking fire. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it color changes on UV, bro. Look at you. Putting you on, dog. So, what's the deal with this in the bottom? Is that just like a. It's probably. It's like. I should a, feel that. It's probably a design just to go with the season. Yeah, dude, that's. It's amazing. That's a thick printing, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. Color change by sunshine, UV light. Yeah, UV light, yeah. Really? Yeah, color change. Even you're shopping with Seth Power. This brand's dope, I love this brand. This is sick, yeah. Sweet W the old stove. Uh, there was a 4D sitting right here, but then Seth saw it, and now it's gone. <laughs> Game of Thrones sitting. Yeah, you can get your sake here if you want, a little jump offs. In Philly, you can't even buy alcohol. Like, it's no, you can buy the shit and drink it and walk down the street. Left but it. look, at the top. See, oh, yeah, fuck one. Me. I did fuck up already. Go. Yeah. So one. Oh, shit, rip two, it rips out two when you... Yeah, son. Dude, they know what's up. You do it like this? Yeah, just make sure it wraps itself up. That's the idea. There's plastic in the... Um... You just didn't unwrap it all the way. Damn it. Okay. Right, I didn't. There we go. You're trying to eat it like a burrito. I'm trying, but I'm obviously. Yeah, just take the wrapper all the way off. Oh, huh? Oh. Yeah, because the seaweed is the wrapper. You American? You American swine? Robot restaurant review. Should you have listened to me or should you have not listened to me? Should have listened to you guys. Nice. Well, here's the thing, like I wouldn't have believed you unless I went from there. Yeah. Like, yeah, you've gotta experience how bad it is. It's like one of those things that it's such a tourist trap. Yeah. That like if you're looking for anything, like I wanted to to go because I thought that's what Japan was. Yeah. Like, crazy just fucking amazing. You wanted to get suckered. I did. Yeah. That's how it is, you know? We all we all get there. Listen to me, kids. <laughs> Steer you the right way. Like this fast food tempura, because we're starving. We haven't really eaten anything but sumo cookies today. If you're not into gaming and anime, this is like probably not the area for you. But I mean, hey, you're hitting more spots than most people hit in That's one day. Sure. That's for sure. Now we're in Shibuya. Shibuya boys. Putting Seth on to the food show. <laughs> it's ridiculous down here. I've vlogged down here so many times, I feel like, but... Enormous, dude. Tuna with a pickled, uh, pickled whatever the fuck that is. We're in Dogenzaka, the old stomping grounds. We're headed to Ramen Usagi, where we got a little bit of a beef with the fucking head chef. He likes to fuck with me sometimes, so I'm back to let him know I'm in town again. See how this goes. <laughs> Not gonna hear anything I vlog today at all. All right, whew. We left Seth Fowler in Shinjuku. Wait, no, we left Seth Fowler in Shibuya. 
Hopefully he made it home okay. I don't really know. I'm sure he did. Probably kick it with him tomorrow. Today was good. I think that me and the ramen guy, I believe have squashed our beef. Um, his ramen is amazing. And tonight, tonight I made him laugh at least twice. So I think he's down. Like I think, I think we've leveled out now. He realizes I'm just gonna keep coming back. You know what I'm saying? But it has been a long day. We clocked some miles. I, uh, you know, I'll basically make you prove that whatever you're wearing is actually comfortable. Oh shit, what's this? Oh. Oh no, 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 no. No. You can't spill. Okay. Slight emergency there. Okay. Um, fuck, I forgot what I was saying. Beef is squashed. Pizza bone in my pocket. I really don't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna go edit. I can't remember what I was even talking about. It feels like it was important. Oh, I was gonna show you how many miles we walk. Oh, I remember now. We make you prove that shit around here. You know what I'm saying? And this might not have even updated yet. 20 minutes ago, we hit 11 and a half motherfucking miles. 25,886 steps with the 36 floors, just like the chambers. All day out here, son. 10, 7.2 miles. This was the day I edited all day. Still clock 4.3, 9.7, 11.4. You know what I'm saying? 8.3, 8.9. 8.8, 3.3. So, yeah, Seth's feet probably hurting today. We're in easy's all day. Free hikers, though. Ah, I gotta be feeling fresh, boy. All right. Good night and good luck. Peace.